Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryder, and this is a beginner's guide to Doomfist. Um, in this uh, guide, we're going to go over the uh, skills and abilities of Doomfist, as well as his strengths, weaknesses, and tips and tricks about him, stuff like that. Um, some things to keep in mind when playing him. Uh, keep in mind, this is a starter guide. It's a beginner's guide. It's meant to get you started in like quick play and maybe some early competitive. Um, it's not meant to be a master's guide in any way. Um, so, you know, to really master some of these heroes, you're going to have to put some hours in and learn the nuances of how they really work. Um, but with that being in mind, uh, if you guys like this video, please feel free to hit the like button, comment, subscribe to the channel, check the description channel down below, check the description box down below so you can see my link to my Twitch channel where I stream pretty regularly on there. Um, but without further ado, let's jump into the guide for Doomfist. So Doomfist is a tank hero. Um, his job as a tank hero is um, basically to be a nuisance. <laughs> he is to be the biggest threat in the field. He needs to be the biggest threat in the field so that he can draw the most attention. Um, he is called a dive tank. Um, there's multiple different like uh, genres, I guess, of tanks, as people like to clarify them in Overwatch. Um, and he's considered a dive tank. Um, if you played Overwatch 1, Doomfist, and Overwatch 2, he got quite the rework. He was a DPS, now he's a tank. Um, so they had to rework some of his abilities to kind of wrap around that, and we're going to kind of go over that. So his primary fire is his hand cannon. Uh, you have four charges of it. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it does a little bit. Um, recharge is pretty slow. It's just, you know, one per second. So, you know, you're not going to have a whole ton of damage, but it does do decent, okay? Um, your main bread and butter with Doomfist is all of his abilities that he has. Um, and I'm going to kind of cover them before I show you them, because it all kind of goes together in one. Um... So his three abilities is his seismic slam, which is where he will leap forward and slam his fist on the ground, which will cause splash damage to everyone around him. He has his rocket punch, which is if you hold the secondary fire button, you'll charge up your fist. And when you release it or when it times out, you will dash forward and anything in your path will get punched take a bunch of damage and they will fly backwards and if they hit the wall they will take more damage as well and then you have your power block which is whenever he raises his arm up in the air and he blocks any incoming damage and blocking any heavy damage empowers his next rocket punch that he does okay um he has a passive ability where dealing damage with his abilities creates temporary personal health to him so, it benefits him to be as aggressive as possible within reason um, so that he can get as much value out of this extra health boost as well as the um, disruption that he has. Doomfist is an in-your-face kind of dive tank. He's not going to be the one that's going to sit back in the back line and take pot shots. He's not Sigma. He's not, you know, Roadhog who's going to be looking for that hook. He's going to be that one. He get, he, healers are going to have to be ready because he's going to be diving in, ready to attack head on. Um, his field, normally he will jump right in with a slam like that. He'll charge it up, punch, make a couple of shots. If they start to focus them or anything like that, he can power block it, power block it, and then charge up again, punch him again. He starts getting focused. He can then leap out back to the enemy team, get some heals. Stuff like that. Wait for heals and then dive back in again. Do it again. You know, he is the epitome of a very, very aggressive tank. He is meant to be in the face of the enemy team. Um, that being said, when you're playing a dive tank like this, especially Doomfist, you want to be smart about things. You don't. You want to make sure that you are letting your healers know. This is where communication is key. There are some heroes in Overwatch that, if you're not communicating effectively with your team, you're going to struggle and you're not going to work very well with your team. Um, Doomfist thrives with communication. Any dive tank like him or like Winston, it would benefit you to communicate to your healers in voice comms and say, hey, I'm going to be diving in in three, two, one, and then you dive in. That way your healers have that heads up to like, okay, he's about to dive in. He's going to be taking a lot of damage. We need to make sure that he stays up and we pump heals into him. You know, communicate with your healers. Your healers are your friend. Don't act like they're you know, some disease you can't speak to. 
Um, also, be very conscious of your health. Don't tunnel into killing enemies or stuff like that. You want to be very conscious to the amount of health you have. If you dive in and you notice they're focusing you hard and you're taking a lot of damage and stuff, you use that power block that's off cooldown and they're still pumping you, you should use that opportunity to get the hell out. Okay, recharge, reset, go back in. Um, don't stay in there and get yourself killed because you're no use to anybody dead. Um, your ultimate ability as Doomfist is your Meteor Strike, which is exactly the same as Overwatch 1, but they did nerf the damage for it a little bit. Um, he jumps in the air, you got four seconds, you pick a location, you fire to the ground, boom, and you slam down, you kill anything that's in your path, that's in the zero zone. You also do pretty good damage, if not kill anybody that's caught in the zone at all. Um, good way to dive into the enemy team, do more damage, stuff like that. Um, it's just like it is in Overwatch 1. Um, one thing to note is that when you do this, you know, it does empower your, uh, fists a little bit more, uh... Just you know, keep in mind, Doomfist is one of your higher skill cap tanks. Uh, as a beginner, you will struggle with him a little bit, um, and people are not kind to uh, Doomfist players right now, anyway. Um, so you know, if you find yourself getting countered or you're struggling with him, I would recommend practicing a quick play with him a little bit more, getting used to him. He's a very hard tank to play. He has a very high skill cap. And as far as like strengths and counters and, and strengths and weaknesses and stuff, um, he's very strong against anything that's weak against dive, really. Uh, so your Hanzos, your Widows, um, you know, those uh, heroes that can't really block. Genji has a hard time against him. Uh, um, then yeah, all your squishier heroes like uh, Tracer and... Uh, um zen lucio's stuff like that people that just can't counter his speed uh he'll just rip them apart to be completely honest but uh as far as weaknesses um he has a few you know uh reaper kind of counter him but honestly the the, the biggest counters he has are may they slow. He can, they can slow him down, wall him off. Uh, <clears throat> Sombra is probably the biggest counter to him because when he is hacked for that split second, he can't get away. Uh, even though it's just for a second that he's hacked for, um, during that time he can't use any of his abilities, which leaves him completely vulnerable. Um, Torbjords can kind of be a high hassle for him if the turrets aren't countered. Um, Bash can kind of be a hassle for him if he's dumb about it, but not majorly. Um, and of course, any airborne hero, Farah, Echo, he can't get to them. So, you know, there's nothing he can do to counteract a Farah or an Echo. So he's completely useless in countering those kind of heroes. Um, so if your DPS are not countering them effectively, you may want to look into changing to a different tank that can maybe assist in taking care of those heroes. Um... <clears throat> But uh, yeah, that is kind of to get you started with Doomfist and how he functions um, and the, you know, the way that he works. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, please leave a question or leave it down in the comments below and I'll answer it as quick as what I can. Um, hopefully I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.